It is time to cut and preserve our chives. Personally, I prefer freezing because in my experience, the flavor and color lasts just a little bit longer when you freeze instead of dry chives. Here's how I do it. First off, I take a look at my chive bundle and pick out anything that I don't want, like yellow or extremely wilted uh, chives, anything that looks blemished or damaged. I also remove the stems that have the flowers. These stems are a little bit tougher, and so I don't want them in the same pile as the rest of the chives. I can use those in soups and stews and those kinds of things, but for my frozen chives, I want only the nice tender green chives. So then I decide whether or not I want to wash them. That's right, I don't always wash my herbs. I really pay attention to uh, what is the condition of my herbs, what's the garden like, what are the conditions uh, regarding insects. Because it's early spring, early June, there are no critters yet, no aphids, no anything that I need to worry about. So I am not washing this particular bunch. Now, if I'm getting herbs or chives from somewhere else later in the season, I definitely wash them. What that means is give them a good swish in cold water, rinse, repeat, and then pat dry your chives. Whether you dry them or freeze them, you want to make sure that any surface moisture is removed before you preserve them. And that will prevent ice crystals from forming. And that's really important for quality of frozen Food. I want to cut them into the size that I uh, prefer. So I like my chives quite small, so I'm going to go ahead and chop them. There are three ways that you can preserve chives by freezing. Number one, you can chop them and place them in ice cube trays and then pour over water or oil. Freeze it. Once they're completely frozen, transfer them to airtight freezer containers or bags and use in soup, stews, casseroles, anywhere you would want. Now, the only thing with that is you do have extra water and or the oil to contend with. So for that reason, it's not my favorite, uh, favorite method because I often like just sprinkling on chives onto finished dishes. And I can't do that when it's in a frozen ice cube. The second way is to flash freeze chives. And basically what that means is you chop them, you place them on a tray, put them in the freezer, let them freeze solid, and then transfer them to an airtight freezer container. Here are my uh, flash frozen chives. You can hear that they are frozen solid and look how easy they are to maneuver. So now I just take that and I transfer for them to a freezer bag or a little container. Free-flowing chives like this that I have already frozen are perfect for putting in a container. So you just transfer them like that, put on the lid, and away you go. Chives ready whenever you need them. And they are frozen as individual pieces, so they will flow and you just have exactly what you need. But every time that you bring them out, they may melt a little bit, so you have to be quick when you take them out of the freezer and pop them back in, otherwise they will refreeze in a solid piece. Which brings us to the third way and my favorite way to freeze chives, and that is basically to go ahead and chop them now that my chives are all chopped, I'm just going to go ahead and put them in my uh, freezer bag. Really squeeze out as much air as you can. Seal. As you can see, I have this super thin uh, baggie of chives. And yes, it's gonna freeze solid, but it'll be very easy to break off once it's frozen. So off in the freezer it goes. And those are my favorite ways to freeze chives.